Hello there, Jay Owen with notjustplates.etsy.com or you can reach me via email at notjustplates at gmail.com. Lots of folks come to me and say, hey Jay, how do I sell my china? Well, that's a real good question. I want to give you some real brief tips on really what not to do. And I'll make successive videos to talk about what to do. But today we're going to talk a little bit about what not to do. The, the basic mistake that virtually everybody I talk to or communicate with, and mostly email communication, basic mistake everybody makes is they go to replacements.com and they find their manufacturer and they find the pattern they have and they find the item they have and they look and see how much replacements charges. And then immediately they go to like Facebook Marketplace or uh, let go or any of these other apps where you can sell stuff pretty simply and they think because replacements charges X they can reduce their price to about half X and they'll sell it. So let's say they find a dish for a hundred dollars uh, they're gonna sell theirs for 50 on Facebook Marketplace or many other locations which which makes sense right but here's the downside it simply might not sell. Let, let me give you a real simple example. I, I have here in my hands, and I hope you can see it, this is by far the best piece of china I have in my inventory. And I've got over 500 listings and multiple pieces within the listing, so I've got a bunch, right? This is, I think this is the most exquisite piece I have in terms of its manufacture, the detail, absolutely wonderful. Now you can see the information behind on my whiteboard back up there. The manufacturer AICH, the pattern is AI17, and it is an oval covered uh, vegetable dish. If you go to replacements.com and look up that information, you'll find, and I don't know if I can get this on my not so great homemade stuff, but there's a screenshot and it probably won't come out. And there's Mr. Penguin. He hangs out and helps me work. All right. There's a screenshot of the uh, replacements uh, listing for that. They want $199 for this. So at my shop, I sell virtually everything at half the listing price for Etsy. At my shop, I think I have it listed right at $100 even, or $99.99, .99, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Now, here's, the, here's the, what I want you to take away from this, all right? And this is really kind of important. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants that dish. There's just no buyer out there for it. Now, I again, I it is by far, in terms of its quality, its a beauty, its aesthetic, by far, that is the best piece of china I have in my inventory. But nobody wants it. Even if replacements is selling it for 200 and I'm selling it for 100 nobody wants it. All right. And it can be real disheartening. So let's say you have moms or grandmas or aunts, maybe even uncles, I don't know, China. And they gave it to you and you think, you know what, it's been sitting in a closet for a long time. I want to sell it. The first thing you'll probably do is go to replacements.com, find it and think, wow, this is worth a lot of money. Well, it is if one, you have an audience of multi-millions of people looking for it. That's what replacements have. They have easily 100 million customers worldwide. They have people coming to them who are looking for something specific. If you're advertising on Facebook Marketplace or again, any of those local Craigslist, anything like that, your market is really small compared to how big replacements is. All right, so you just gotta realize, I might not be in the right place to sell this. Secondly, all right, and this is the other important thing to keep in mind, nobody wants it. It's just a real, it's just reality. Yeah, it's just the way it is. And it might take, for the third point, it might take years. I've had this piece in my inventory since I started my shop eight, nine years ago, whenever it was, I really don't remember. And I've never been able to sell it. I could reduce the price down to, I don't know, maybe $25. And I doubt if I would still sell it. It's just the nature of the beast. Here's something to think about, and I'll conclude with this. You own a house and your neighbor owns a house, and they're identical. The two houses are exactly the same. All right? Your neighbor puts it up for a million dollars. What do you think? Well, I could sell mine for a million dollars. But if your neighbor never sells their house, chances are you're not going to sell yours for a million either. And if, even if you listed at 500000 there just might not be a buyer. So just keep that in mind. When you're pricing your china, keep in mind 
hey, I've got to attract a buyer somehow and price is going to be the most attractive way to do it. Most attractive way to attract a buyer. That's an interesting way of stating it, isn't it? All right. You just got to remember there just might not be anybody. Or if there is, it might take a real long time before they find you. All right. Again, I'm Jay Owen. Not just plates dot Etsy dot com. I can be reached at not just plates uh, at gmail.com. We're on Facebook at not just plates. We're on Twitter. I'm not real good with Instagram yet, so I'm not quite there. I hope this has been helpful to you. And please, if I can help you, you know, let me know. Take care and have a good day.